Hey guys, it's Amy from Clean Cloth Nappy Hire here and I'm making this video today to show you how to do a strip and sanitize on your nappies. And the strip and sanitize is just a really thorough cleaning process that you might use, um, one if you buy secondhand nappies or also if you've got some really ingrained stinky problems that you can't resolve with normal washing um, in your own nappies. So I've got these lovely nappies here. Um, my friend was so generous and she's actually gifted them to me because her kids aren't using them anymore. Um, and my kids are going to wear these over the summer, just cotton or bamboo, not quite sure actually. Uh, just fitted nappies, so perfect for summer days at home without a cover. So to do a strip and sanitise you need a few ingredients. First of all, you need your trusty rubber gloves to protect your skin. You're using laundry products and hot water, so put these on your hands. Uh, the second ingredient is laundry powder and so I've just got my trusty box of Omo here. Um, that's always worked for me so I like to keep a box of this in the house. You can also use plant-based laundry detergent. This is EcoStore which is definitely in my opinion probably the best cleaning plant-based detergent on the market at the moment. If you do use a plant-based detergent just double the quantity because they're not quite as powerful as regular detergents. And then you get your laundry soaker. So um, you can you can use any brand really. Uh, they've all got pretty much the same thing in them. Um, so I've just got some Woolies laundry soaker here. Um, and so the recipe is for about 80 litres of water, which is about half a bathtub full of hot water, just from your tap. Um, and it's half a cup of laundry soaker and about the same amount, half a cup or two scoops of laundry powder. And of course you'd use four scoops if you were using that plant-based detergent. Um, so I'm not actually using my bath, obviously I'm in my laundry. My bath is quite leaky from the plug so it's not a very good vessel to use for soaking laundry. Um, plus my kids are always up there. Um, so I'm going to use my laundry sink which is 40 litres so I'm going to use half a recipe. One scoop of Omo, one scoop of the nappy sand stuff. Um, and fill up the sink with hot water then pop the nappies in to soak for about four hours. So let's get started. Alright so now we've filled up the laundry sink with our Omo and our laundry soaker and I've started to add the nappies in. I'm going to put the nappies in and give them a good swish around. Here's my pile of nappies. Um, give them a good swish around and then I'm going to continue filling up the sink with hot water until it's full and then I'm going to leave my nappies to soak for about four hours um, and by then they'll be ready for a rinse out and they're sanitised. I've just popped downstairs for a quick peek because I couldn't help but come and have a look before they were done. Uh, the water's turning quite a nice I guess kind of a, like a brownie grey colour um, and everything seems to be going well so I've just given them a bit of a stir to circulate them around um, to ensure that they all get a thorough soak um, and then in a few hours I'll come back and rinse them out. Okay so it's a bit later on, um, they've been in for about four hours and I've come back to give them a rinse out and then to pop them in the washing machine to give them a really thorough rinse to make sure that all of that detergent and nappy sand mix is out before I sanitise them. Um, so um, you can give them a rinse out in the same vessel that you soak them in and then pop them into the machine for a rinse or what I'm going to do is just drain the water and then put them into my machine for a slightly longer cycle. So um, I've got this Fisher Pike Hill front loader here. Um, and the cycle that I'm going to choose is just the daily wash cycle. Um, so that goes for about an hour and so that'll wash them. Um, and then it will also give them a couple of rinses and a nice spin and they'll be ready to sanitise. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So, hi again. So we're back in the laundry again the next morning. Um, and I just left those nappies overnight to... I just left them in the machine after I'd washed them out because I needed to go to bed. So um, we're back here to do the sanitise step. and. Sanitising secondhand nappies is important just to ensure that things like thrush aren't passed on to your baby um, if the nappies have been infected, sometimes in the multi-layered fabrics. Um, and if you have, for example, if you have a top loader and you don't have really hot incoming tap water, um, thrush can actually persist in the multi-layered fabrics of nappies. So we're going to sanitise them and then we'll give them a couple of washes to ensure that they're really clean. So uh, first things first, there are three options in the strip and sanitise to sanitise. Uh, the first is the high temperature wash, which is if you have a front loader, you'll find that it goes up to uh, 90 degrees or 95 degrees and you can use this on inserts, flats, prefolds, anything without pull or elastic. Um, and then the next option is this stuff, 
This one's from Audi. This is benzylconium chloride, otherwise sold as caniston or Dettol laundry rinses. Um, you can use this to sanitise. The Caniston brand says that it's antifungal, but um, previously we've contacted uh, Bayer, who manufacture it, and they said it's not tested against multi-layered fabric, so that's not my preferred option. Uh, my preferred option is the tried and tested bleach solution. Um, and so you can see that this bleach, this is from Audi as well, this one's called Power Force Liquid Bleach. It's got sodium hypochlorite, 42 grams a litre. You can use any laundry bleach that's got 42 grams a litre of sodium hypochlorite. So, I've got my baby down here, I'll just grab him. Here we go. Alright, so instructions for the uh, for the bleach sanitizer, of course. Gloves again, safety is paramount. Keep these little guys out of the laundry. Um, they can't be around. Bleach or other chemicals, of course. Hey, what have you got, Rox? Oh, thank you. Mmm, can I have that one? Let it go down there <laughs> all right so the recipe for the bleach sanitize um, is about two teaspoons of bleach per 10 okay. liters of cold water so it's a really gentle solution that you're making it's just um just to ensure that any traces of any pathogens are gone it's not it's not a whitening solution and actually if you've got uh, discolored nappies that you're trying to strip and sanitize this bleach solution won't help to lighten them I've actually put pieces of coloured flannel in it before and not seen any difference after the not seen any difference after the time. So um <laughs> you love my teeth. Where are your teeth? Mmm. Alright. So the recipe is two teaspoons per ten litres of cold water. And that works out to be about two meals per two mils of bleach per litre of water. So I've got a 40 litre tub, I'm going to put in 80 mils of bleach. And then I'm going to soak the nappies for half an hour, give them a rinse and put them into the machine. So I'll go ahead with that now and we'll see you soon. All right, so we're back after the um, after the sanitised rinse, and we're giving the nappies a really thorough wash in our machine. Um, so I'm going to give them two washes, both with detergent and at 60 degrees or hot water if you have a top loader. The trick to these two washes is just to use the longer cycle. Time in the machine is your friend, and that will get your nappies really, really thoroughly clean. So um, if you've got a top loader, you've probably got a cycle called heavy duty or um, whites or something like that. Um, if you've got a front loader, your cycle is probably called cottons. Um, so I'm running the cotton cycle, 60 degrees, uh, running it twice. I'm running a slightly smaller load size because my machine's not full, so I've just um, adjusted the amount of detergent that I've put in. And I've also added just a few bits of regular laundry for the second wash from my house. Um, the nappies are clean by now, so they can all get washed together. So I'm just going to turn on the machine for that last wash, and then we will hang them on the line. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're back in the yard, um, the nappies are finished washing and I've hung them on the line and I'm really pleased to say that they look and smell infinitely better than when I first got them. So, um, successful strip and sanitise all done. I hope the video has been really helpful to you and I'll catch you next time. Bye!